Lottie Lyle is the theatrical stage and screen name of Miss Lottie Edith Cox, who was born in Sydney in Balmain in 1890 and who died far too young in 1925. She's the single most significant woman in the first century of Australian cinema. Lottie Lyle was indeed Australia's first major film star because she was so well known, the films were so popular, they were very good box office, but in addition to that they were critically acclaimed. One reviewer on one film called her a winsome gladiator because she could ride very well. You know, she sword fights in, in The Midnight Wedding. Uh, she's, she's got this enormous capacity to be creative in terms of thinking about being a genteel, well-mannered, um, seduced virgin to being the very strong-willed Doreen in The Sentimental Bloke who reforms Bill the Bloke. And then along the way, she's, she's got a succession of, she's played a wronged wife, she's played a girl of the bush uh, who can ride and, 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 and rescue the trussed up trooper in the lagoon. She's got this enormous capacity to recreate herself for whatever the role is that she's playing. Lottie's presence on screen is, is quite compulsive. You, you can't stop looking at her when, she, when you're watching her act on screen. Her eyes are certainly compelling. The eyes are really quite, quite fascinating. The Longford Lyle Partnership is considered to have been one of the major partnerships in the history of Australian cinema. They, they made possibly anything up to 28 films you know, together, and Lottie starred in at least 18 of them. Longford is often recognised as the director and Lottie as the actor in quite a lot of the credits of the films. I believe that very early on Lottie was also directing some of the scenes in the films. Certainly as early as 1916 when they were in New Zealand there is an oral history that I came across from uh, an old gentleman who was an extra in the Mutiny of the Bounty and he talks about how they were rowing towards the shore and Miss Lyle said, that's not good enough, go back and do it again. And I think that Longford's name as a director is there because it's also part and parcel of a, almost not so much a social convention of the day, but an accepted um, uh, belief that he's directing, she's acting, he's behind the camera, she's in front. But in reality, Lottie's entire career was a mixture of being in front of the camera as, as the actor and being behind the camera as uh, co-director, co-scriptwriter, co-producer. The success of them together has, has kind of endured o over the, the decades to, to the point that you have a Longford Lyle Award for lifetime achievement today from the equivalent of the Australian Film Institute. It's long been believed that Raymond Longford and Lottie Lyle had a, a personal relationship as well as a professional one. He bought a double plot on the day he was burying Lottie. I knew some of his family and they said he talked endlessly about Lottie right into his old age and, and he, he really never got over the loss of her. Certainly it affected his career professionally because he didn't make another major film after Lottie died. It's extremely sad, but it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic story in itself. And in addition to that, of course, it's a, it, it's a rich story that's given us a, really a, an enduring legacy because they truly are the, the great partnership of the, um, the early years of Australian cinema.